Hi there, welcome to our lesson for today, with Zier Chance. In today's lesson, we are going to study about how to write bibliography. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated for our next lesson video. And if you want to know more about this topic, please watch the video till the end. Our module to competency says, use conventions in citing sources. Our lesson objectives are, as a learner of this module, you are expected to, one, define key concepts of bibliography, two, identify the bibliographic parts of a printed or online source, three, give importance of citing sources, and four, use various conventions in citing sources. So, without further ado, let's get started. If you are asked to do a research work on stories of Filipino women, how will you find a reliable source of information about the topic? Will you search it on the internet or visit the library to find appropriate books? In doing so, do you closely look at the parts or details of the sources that you use? This part of the module will lead you to an initial understanding of the importance of looking at the parts or details of a source. Look at the text on the next page. Study and analyze it. This is an illustration of a cover page of a book and its parts. Do you think it is important to take note of these information and cite them in your research? When you do your research, you need to cite or list your sources. Whenever you take specific facts, ideas, or quotations from a book, magazine, newspaper, or other sources, you make sure to cite the source. Here are some important reasons why you need to cite or list the sources. 1. It gives credit to the authors. 2. It provides you and the reader with more information about the sources. 3. It shows the writer's credibility, referring to whether his or her sources are reliable. 4. It prevents plagiarism, an act of stealing someone else's ideas and presenting them as your own. Look at the sample text inside the box. How many sources do you see? One way of citing your sources is through listing them on a separate page of your research paper. This page is what we call a bibliography. So, what is bibliography? A bibliography is taken from the Greek word biblion, which means book, and graphia, which means to write. A bibliography contains an alphabetical list of sources like books, periodicals, and websites used by the writer or researcher. A research paper should contain a bibliography written on a separate page and should be located at the end of the paper. Each entry uses a hanging indention also known as a second line indention. There are many styles or formats in citing or listing sources, depending on the subject. The three main citation styles are the following. The American Psychological Association APA style which is used in social and behavioral sciences. The Modern Language Association MALA style which is used for writing papers on literature and related subjects like theater or film. The Chicago Manual of Style CMOS which is often used in many academic fields, especially in the humanities and social sciences. In this module, we will follow the bibliography annotation standard specified in Chicago Manual of Style 17th edition. These are the types or formats of sources of information, print, and online. A. Print sources. These are sources that have been published in printed format, such as books and periodicals. 1. Books. These are the most common and reliable sources of information. This is the sample format of writing a book bibliography. Author's last name and first name. Title of book. Subtitle. Place of publication. Name of publisher, year of publication. Books with one author, example, Cruz, Lords, Language and Literature, Grade 8 Learner's Textbook, Quezon City, Cruz Publishing House, Incorporated, 2015. Tip Always follow the correct punctuation marks, just like in the example. Books with 2 to 10 authors, example, Cruz. Lord Desti, Armando, Perez, Jose, and Rubio, Nancy. Language and Literature, Grade 8 Learner's Textbook. Quezon City, Cruise Publishing House, Inc., 2015. Tip, 
Always follow correct punctuation marks just like in the example. Chapter in a book, example. Cruise, Lord Des, Southeast Asian Literature, in Language and Literature, Grade 8 Learner's Textbook, pages 30 to 47. Kizan City, Cruise Publishing House, Inc., 2015. Tip. Two or more authors should be listed in the order as they appear as authors, and not necessarily alphabetically. For sources with more than 10 authors, include only the first seven in the bibliography, followed by et al., a Latin phrase which means, and others. 2. Periodicals. These are magazines, scholarly journals, newspapers, and newsletters published at regular intervals. Publication dates are essential when citing periodical sources. Example of periodicals. Number 1. Journal. It is a scholarly published periodical containing articles written by researchers, professors, and other experts. This is the sample format of writing a journal bibliography. Author's last name and first name. Title of article. Journal title. Issue information. Example. Martinez. Juana. Distance learning amidst COVID-19. Journal of Studies in Philippine Education 10. Number to 2019. Pages 23 to 35. Number 2 type of periodicals. Magazine. It is a periodical publication that contains stories, essays, pictures, and the like, usually published every week or month. What follows is the sample format of writing a magazine bibliography. Author's last name and first name. Title of article. Magazine title. Issue date. Here is how you do it. Alispo. Thea. Finding new hobbies in time of quarantine. Young Mind Creatives, June 2020. Another periodicals example is The Newspaper. It is a periodical that is printed and distributed usually daily or weekly, containing news, opinions, features, and advertisements. This is the sample format of writing a newspaper bibliography. Author's last name and first name. Title of article. Newspaper name. Month, day, and year. Perrin, Leonardo, Filipino Student Bags Trophy and International Quizby. Caraga Sinag Press, July 17, 2018. Remember, always follow the correct punctuation marks. B. Online Sources. These refer to any materials or information taken from the Internet. Other terms for online sources are electronic sources, web sources, and Internet sources. 1. Website. This refers to the collection of files and related resources accessible through the World Wide Web and organized under a domain name. This is the sample format of writing a website bibliography. Author's last name and first name. Page title. Website title. Published date or access date. URL or color Ramon Jr. Solid Faith. Department of Education Caraga Region, June 2, 2020. HETP, Caraga, Departmented, Gov, PH Sol. Next is ebooks. These are books that are read on a computer or electronic devices. They are cited exactly as a printed book with the addition of a format at the end of the citation Kindle, PDF, EPUB, etc. If books are referred online, Include the URL at the end of the citation. This is the sample format of writing an ebook bibliography. Author's last name and first name. Title of book. Place of publication. Name of publisher. Year of publication. Format or Ursulus. Anna May, Dela Cruz, Christopher, and Dizon, Jane. How to improve your reading skills. Manila, Tim's. Publishing company. 2018. EPUB. 3. Online journals. These are journals read from digital libraries or online databases. This is the sample format of writing an online journal bibliography. Author's surname, first name, article title, journal title volume number, issue year, 
page range of article, URL of journal article web page O, R, name of database. Here is an example. Do not forget to follow the correct punctuation marks just like the rest of the examples. 4. Online magazine and online newspaper. These are the online versions of magazines and newspaper. Both sources have the same format in writing a bibliography entry. This is the sample format of writing an online magazine and newspaper bibliography. Author's last name. First name. Article title. Newspaper or magazine title month day year and U. R. L. Again. Place the punctuation marks properly. Here is an example for online newspaper. Be clever enough to follow the placements of the punctuation marks. Let's practice. Arrange and write the following list of sources or references to form a correct bibliography. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Now, compare your answer. Number 2. Now, compare your answer. Number 3. Now, compare your answer. Number 4. Now, compare your answer. Number 5. Now, compare your answer. This time, fill in the missing information to complete the format of each source. Number 1. Now, compare your answer.
Number two. Now, compare your answer. I'm sorry, I forget to put number three. Let's proceed to number four. Now, compare your answer. Number 5. Now, compare your answer. Good job grade 8. See you on my next lesson video. God bless. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe my channel too. Thanks for watching.